ready for that? Eat me, for eat me. Yeah, just because it didn't happen to me don't mean it don't happen. I've heard so many horrendous stories about it. It'll blow your mind. Abuse happening in the church. And predators all up and through there. Yes. Of course. But I have to say, you know, that was my one place for refuge. But, uh, you know, a lot of people, if, if it don't happen to them, it didn't happen, period, and nobody else. Just like, you know, you'll tell a person, no, I didn't get along too good with my family or my, uh, parents or the rest of my family members or siblings. And that person will, in the same breath, be like, tell you how wonderful they their upbringing was. So, what the fuck you want to talk to them for? <laughs> uh, just because I didn't experience getting prayed upon in the church don't mean it didn't happen. I hear a story that'll blow my mind. Yeah, my mother had passed away, but I had an uncle. He would check on me, and we'd go out at dinner and everything. Um, after she passed on. But when you know what I do, I think I lost him four years later. Yeah, 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 yep. Four years later. But, you know... During that time, yeah, he was looking out. So, you know, he, he telling me certain things, you know, told me his daddy, my grandfather wasn't nothing but a drunk. <laughs> and then I told another family member, his uh, daughter, my aunt, that looked just like his ass. Um, she's like, no, no, our daddy didn't drink every day. Sure he didn't. Sure the fuck he didn't. Sure. Felt so, like he was, you know, cool and chill when he wasn't drinking. Then when he started drinking, he just get off the chain. That's what it sounds like to me. Cause that's that's how his daughters and sons are, and nephews and I mean, uh, grandchildren. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. They, they so tough and bad, then get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, so it, it wasn't what I'm talking about. It's like the church. It was this preacher. Oh, my mother was crazy about it. Oh, she loved me so much. And. I was saying, yeah, he used to take them skating and take them to the bowling alley. And my uncle was like, hey, he ain't take me no damn way. <laughs> and then one of her besties, he's like, you, you, you knew he was having an affair with her. What the fuck? So he was married. He married a, I'm going to say Asian woman. Right? <laughs> so, and it, it, she was she was a teenager. She was like about what sixteen or something like. What the, what's going on? Huh? What? Huh? And I'm sure my mom knew it. If my uncle knew it, why wouldn't my mom know? My mom ain't say nothing. Nothing. I don't bet if I went back and told her, she either holler and scream at me or say, "Consider the source or just get quiet." <laughs> yeah, why, why? Why are you so crazy about somebody like that? That's who you look up to. That's your role model. And always, what's the word? Discouraging and condemning that type of behavior. When you hanging out with people like that and putting them on pedestals and shit, what the fuck? Oh, hell yeah, I believe it. My uncle ain't around about that shit. Stop! That's what they need to do. Stop. Oh, my what? 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 
Oh, they couldn't stand him. Uh-huh, yeah, hell yeah, he was a, uh, what's they call, controlling chauvinistic ass bastard. Hell yeah, cause me and him went through it. We went at it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We made up. Well, now I know what I know. That was bullshit too, but hell yeah, we, we were good after that. Uh-huh. Yeah. They're real nasty with me. I was like, okay, all right, fine. Fine, oh, that's how it is, okay. Yeah. I try so hard to get it. I know I'm on the grid. I just wanna stop. Who is there for? <laughs> oh, look there. Back to the future. And Night Patrol. Night Patrol was looking at me after a while, I fell asleep on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, she's so full of shit. And me, you know, I, I, I'll kick the idea around just be talking about it. Or somebody might want to do that with me thinking about it, you know, if she sees it. She's like, no, no! Why didn't you tell your bestie that? No, no! Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, he gave us a ride to church, and he would pay for all the cars going to the to the church. Church, you know, like they visit in another church, and they go out of state, got to pay a toll. He paid a toll for everybody. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's day money. That's collection money. So what are you supposed to do? And he take us out to dinner. And I bet he did. <laughs> Probably was fucking her too. <laughs> oh, I want to know that. I ain't found that out yet. Or anybody else. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's why this man, he was a preacher, he came to their neighborhood, which is way back in the woods. He came to their neighborhood. Uh, her and an aunt by marriage. You know, they was teenagers then. They, they, they got all purdy. It was teenagers. And they said that preacher was so fine. They said he looked so good. And so they, they go to the service. like a tent service. You know how traveling pre preachers were. It was more common back in them days. You know, the 50s and 60s. And, uh, yeah. They attended services all week. Saying, well, see, he wasn't a pedophile because he ain't messed with us. We was underage, but no, no, and you know, we they they came up there and was passing out. It was one of them kind where you, you know they touch you or blow on you and you pass out. And, you know, you had a spirit and everything. Yeah, so they sat there pretending. Oh, uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> And one guy I see was looking at me. He, he's a uh, ordained minister, talented musician, real pretty. He's a pretty boy. <laughs> every, every, everything had to be everything had to be matches. <laughs> uh, he's pretty. Oh, he's smiling and everything. And I was like. Nah, dude, no, he's married. No, dude, no. Uh, okay, how pretty you are. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Let me tell you, I'm going to be sitting I, I, I level to him. He's looking. I'll go and sit in the balcony. He's craning his neck looking up there. Oh, hey, no, dude, no. No, hell no. Get out of here. Uh-uh. No. No. I don't know what the other dude problem was. Well, he was married or nothing, so he just went on his... How you put it? Shoot your shot, though. Shot. He must wasn't no good. Because I, I prayed hard about it. And, uh, it looked like the answer was no. Yeah, he probably had some issues. Yeah, so, uh, like, 
Oh, you, you take me out for a cup of coffee and we chit chat and talk and see, you know, let me see where you head at, weirdo. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. And uh, I was looking at a, a video of a service, man, I say, we'll say three years ago or something like that. I didn't see him around. I was like, oh, he left, huh? Yeah, I was, I was on my way out the door, and I was like, all right, I'm going to give you a year. I think it might have been two years. I was like, yeah, he just want to stare. He don't want to approach me so well. My brother and my mom like, talk to hell. Like, yeah. He doing all the staring and looking. And then he approach me. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, probably, probably was a covert deal. I think so. Uh, not that it matters, he's Caucasian. Uh, you know, I'm just saying that there, there might have been some hesitation, and that was a predominantly black church. So, of course, because of that, yeah, I'm gonna say it. Uh, you know, don't get mad at me, but he. he he ranked high in pos pos uh, position real quick up in there. Now I'm saying he got ranked up in there real quick. <laughs> and, uh, he, he would hang out with, like, the elderly ladies and stuff. You know, if they had, if we was eating afterwards, we'd sit at the table with them and make sure they got home, giving them rides and everything. I don't know if he's a good guy or not. I don't know. I don't know, my been an abusive piece of shit, I don't know, I don't fucking know, I don't want this motherfucking ass, but uh, like I said, I don't want to go through all that, so, yeah, hey, it is what it is, <laughs> I don't know, shit, yeah, I like this song. I remember in the movie Precious. I read the book too. I gotta get that goddamn book. I tell you, I'm in transition, so like some stuff is here, other stuff is there. Look, I'm trying to get that together. Man, it, it's rough. It's rough. Rough! So many things. No, I don't have to buy it because it's right there, you know. It, 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 it's hard to explain. I, I, I don't freaking know who he is. Remember Mary dancing in the mirror? Uh, yeah. Mary? Yeah, Monique looked way better than my mom. But yeah, uh, Mary, the character Mary Jones from Precious. Uh huh. Put you, put you in the mind of that. Remember she had, uh, that, that contest, Bat Chat? Plus size women uh, being models. Uh, I'm watching it, trying to watch it and everything, and you know she she hating, 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 hating. I was like, damn, can I watch this in peace? No, I can't, cause uh uh, she ain't letting me. But yes, I like that show. Dude, you, you look so good, Bill. Yeah, I'm glad you say you look better than anybody else. As you tell yourself that you get mad. You know, you, you say you got it going on. So what you mad at them for? Yeah, I will explain this the best way I can. I don't know she didn't look that good. Fuck no. <laughs> not in my opinion. Not in a lot of people's opinion. Including her own, right? But she could always cut other people down and tell them they ain't looking like this and they ain't looking like that. And get mad and everything. So if that's the case, you're so smart and you're so beautiful. Why don't you have better than what you got? I don't understand. Uh, and, you know, why are you so miserable also? Mm, that's sad too. That's real pitiful. That's, that's, ooh, yeah. Mm, okay, listen. He said. Everything the Lord gave me, uh, everything I asked him for, he gave me. Damn, that's all you wanted. Mm, that's sad. 
Yes, man. Yes, all you. Your birthday yesterday, you know. Yeah, I said, you wait till next time I get on here. Yeah, I gotta talk about that too. That's a, that's all you wanted. Oh, God, really? Ah! Ew. Nah, for real. Mom. Mom, that's all you wanted. Huh? Nothing? That's all you asked for? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just saying, you got all that much power. Yeah, you should have been a little bit better than that. What the fuck? Bad as fuck. Bad as fuck. And miserable like that. You get your way all the time, so you say, you say, you're the Lord, do everything you tell him to do, right? And that, that's, that's all you want out of life. You don't compliment another person on what they got or. How they look or they, they challenge you mad for angry. Then then all of a sudden it ain't all about material things. But like I said, he claimed that a, a so called friend I had growing up was doing so much better than me and always be throwing it uh throwing it in my face how much better she was doing than me. Then material thing mattered. But nah, they don't matter when you just talk about, oh, that's a nice car, so it's so good. Yeah, it's You know, they real jealous, Artie. Jealous as fuck. <laughs> they don't can't touch, I mean, trust them motherfuckers for you throw they so fucking jealous. God damn. Ah, darn. I told you. You be so jealous. Like I said, I eat something. Somebody cooked or like, you know, I bought it take out or whatever. She had to go cook the exact same thing trying to outdo the person. Because I was like, ooh, that was good. Yeah, you know, she tortured me. I couldn't even enjoy her meal. She's getting on me telling what I'm eating too much. And I, I, I don't have the proper eating etiquette and all this bullshit. But if somebody treat her like that, uh, well, it's not enough. You, you can only get certain portions. And, you know how people are. Being stingy and shit. She get mad. But she could do that. Uh, you know, she, she, the golden child, he's very picky. All he wanted was a uh, McDonald's. He didn't eat her, her food. Uh, she wasn't trying to make it either. She was trying to tr talk me in and trying new things and trying this and eating that and sampling this. And he wouldn't touch her food. Then what I say, he's eating a certain thing, you know. Out somewhere, he don't eat that. Yeah, he don't eat what you cook. Yep. When he was a kid, give him a jelly sandwich. He's good to go. And uh, for dinner, you know, buying McDonald's every night, he's good to go. Me, I ain't that picky. I just don't like seafood. <laughs> a real fucking bitch. Now, she was more like Mary was in the book, you know, in, on TV. People look better than they actually do if her book was adapted into a movie. <laughs> but yeah, it sounds like she, you know, she was just as hideous as the Mary Jones in the book. Read that book. That book all changed. 
the lady was a social worker, and you know she combined more of uh, some of the stories that she had heard, <clears throat> cases she investigated for like child abuse. She was part of CPS, and uh, she had combined everything together like that. Cause it was like all this couldn't happen to one person. Why couldn't it? Yeah, it could. But, well, uh, well, I know what she'd do. I, I told you what she did. If I had children while she was alive, she would uh, uh, try to take over everything. So, I don't know why I pretend you don't want that responsibility when you know you're going to step up and push me out the way and do it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get help with everything. I get away from her ass. She was scared of that. Oh my! Científicos de Johns Hopkins acaban de revelar una nueva y extraña forma de eliminar este peligroso moco proteínico del páncreas. Y lo que es más... Okay. So, like I said, she made sure she took, uh, he, he gave them the name, and as far as raising them and everything, then if I had another one, she would triangulate them, she wouldn't teach them to stick together and love each other, no, she'd be like, well, that one got more talent than you, and like I said, this one looked better than you, and this one, you know. I think it had, you know, uh, black people know what I'm talking about with the colorism. Uh, I think it was because he was a, a lighter complexion than me. And I, I told her that she, you know, exploded. Because Jerry Springer, when he was serious, he had a, 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 a episode uh, about that. Yeah, yeah, you you get too caught up in this TV, you know. You, everything you see on TV, you got to get all caught up into it. It's, it was reality. These are real people telling their stories, and I said, mean, it got a lot to do with it, how you treat us different. She didn't even deny it. She just exploded, you know. Yeah, you know they do deflect it. Uh huh. Yeah, that is why it got a lot to do with it. I had a lot of ignorant ass people come up and tell me that my dad appeared to be biracial, but he wasn't. But he uh he was he was light skin, and um ignorant ass people come up and be like, "How come how come you're not light like your dad?" <laughs> what? Hey, my dad. I'm in the middle. Yeah, my brother's lighter. Hey, yeah, my mother is in dark. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people try to gaslight me with that. Black and white people try to make it sound like I was so much darker than what I actually was. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah okay. And she also made sure. Then I, I wasn't a colorist like her and her family members and everything. No, 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 I'm not like that. But why, why uh, beat into my head, which you don't even believe in yourself? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. I wasn't even allowed to talk about like how dark somebody was. She'd get on my case about it and everything, but she could. And she was one of the darkest ones out there, but uh, no, you could remind her of that. You had to pretend, I don't know, I guess pretend she was, was a whole different color or whatever. Weird. Weird, but nah, I ain't like that. It don't matter to me. Uh, well, most of the men I dated was dark, dark, dark chocolate.
Yeah, when, I, when I say that, then that's what I preferred at the time. You get mad at that look on her, you know, that North look on her face. And I, I want to, I, I want, I want to have to say, see, for some reason, she's like trying to push me in that direction to date, uh, Caribbean men, mainly Jamaican men, because that's what she was into at the time. Then when I start, uh, start doing it, it is a whole different story. Yeah. Ain't nothing like, ain't nothing like an American. Oh, sweet American man. Oh, that's what I said. Here we go. Here the fuck we go. And check this out. Check this out. This is what they wanted. This is their, uh, what they call logic. Her and her, her sisters. They, like, do not have a child with one of them. You do what you gotta do to prevent that. You know what, you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, no, do not marry or have children with them. Uh -uh. They, they, they just, you know, mess around with. I think that's another reason she was, like, so uh, opposed to it, you know. It was just conversation. Especially, oh, yeah, because that's what I wanted to talk about. I hope I got enough time. Ha, 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 ha.